Dear students, let us see what is there in this question. Now, the Feynman diagram shows some of the changes in proton-proton collision. So, proton and proton, they are colliding with each other. And this is the Feynman diagram for that. And uh, these are the options A, B, C, D. And we have to see like which is the correct equation for the collision. So, let us try to understand from the Feynman diagram here what is happening. So, we know that proton composition is given by U, U, D. And quarks, be very careful. There is no existence of a quark out of a hadron. So, these three are basically, uh, they constitute into one uh, element and it becomes a proton. And here you see this U will remain U and this D will remain D. So, it is U, D, D. So, U, D, D is neutron. It means that one proton is getting converted into neutron overall. Now, that is pretty clear here. And for that, we even remember some of the nuclear reactions. We have been learning about these nuclear reactions since uh, radioactivity topic and others. And at that time also, I have given you this formula. So the proton is now converting. Proton is converting into neutron. So the mass number is one, charge number is zero. And so a positron is created or a beta plus. Uh, this we, we have done in radioactivity and the neutrino is produced, electron neutrino and plus the heat is produced and the mass number for the neutrino is zero as well as the charge number for the neutrino is zero neutrino is just a lepton number so uh, it will be used to uh, find the uh, whether the lepton number is conserved or not this is the actual reaction which is taking place now there is a possibility that you may or may not know this equation but if you know it things will become really easy for you to do but otherwise like you have to think like what is happening there okay now let us see what is happening so this is the proton so u is now getting converted into d and how is it getting converted this u is coming here and u like the time is going in this direction Time is going in this direction. So I have created two timestamps here. Let me call this time T1 and this time as T2. So what is happening at T1? U is coming and U is now giving up one particle. So this one particle is given up here. Something happens here. Might be a photon is released or might be a W negative boson is released or something. I don't know what, but something has released here. And this is converted into... Uh, this particle which is again u so obviously uh, it means that photon must be released isn't it because u is not even getting converted into anything but anyways so whatever is this particle coming here it is converted into two particles this d is the down quark and this is the anti quark clearly you can see this direction my dear student Feynman diagrams are really very confusing be very careful there are two things that you need to remember first thing is that what is the direction of the time so the direction of the time is given in this direction to be right hand side direction and that even horizontal in many cases it, it is it is given as a upward direction also but in this particular question it is it is towards right so anyways we will just see that it is going towards right now there are two directions number one this number two this so if the direction which is shown here is in the same direction as that of time it does not actually show you the direction of the motion but it only means that this direction is talking about a particle that is quark so u is a quark and quark is coming and then it releases something and another quark is released because this direction is same as that of the time but if we talk about this direction now at this juncture it is going into the upward direction even this is going into the downward direction so the direction of motion is like that but this negative direction intends to show that this is an antiparticle and we are talking about anti-quark and indeed we are talking about an anti-quark this is how we read the Feynman diagram first of all so this is an antiparticle so don't get confused with this direction I repeat this is not the direction of motion it just shows that at this point we are talking about an antiparticle that's it now okay fine so this is the whole reaction now this is UD bar and this is the neutron so UD bar uh, is something else okay fine no problem uh, let us see what is the question now uh, what is the equation 
so the equation is like proton plus proton is giving you this so uh, there are two protons here but there is one proton on the by on the product side so i just cancel this thing out it means that one proton is getting converted into neutron plus something neutron plus something and definitely i'm sure that yes proton is getting converted into neutron no doubt about that so proton is converting into neutron and it is not anti neutron so this is both of them are wrong so this is correct either this or this 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 the only problem is that this is pi minus and this is pi plus charge can be conserved here let us see so this is plus 1 neutron is 0 and this is plus 1 it means that a will be the correct option because in b the charge is not uh, conserved this is plus 1 and this is minus 1 and that is not possible clearly the answer will be a so this is how we do this question my dear student Okay so this is professor Varun thanks for joining I've tried my best to explain you what Feynman diagrams are and how you can use uh, how can how you can uh, understand the Feynman diagram in this question even then if there is any problem just uh, mention that in the comment section all the best bye